What's up, Ben with Wad Prep here, and today we're gonna to talk about three different muscle up grips that you need to know to be a successful muscle upper. So if you are interested in getting to RX level with your muscle ups, if you wanna to string together two or three in a row, maybe you don't have any yet, go to getmuscleups.com and I'm going to send you a ton of free training content that's gonna teach you step by step how to learn the muscle up. So first, let's talk about the three different grips. Those are hugely important when it comes to developing the muscle up because in my opinion, there should be a progression from the false grip to what I call the standard grip. So let's talk about the false grip. The false grip is where I'm actually putting the, the ring between the meat of my palm. So right here, I'm putting the ring between here and my wrist. So it's gonna sit right in that crease. And hopefully you can see right here, the ring sits right in the crease and then I'm grabbing the rings. It's like I'm flexing. Like if I was Arnold Schwarzenegger and I'm, and I'm flexing, it's like I'm doing that with the rings. And then obviously in order to get full extension, I'm allowing my hands to go all the way up above my head and you can internally rotate. It's an internal rotation to get full lockout with your arms. I know you probably can't see it on the video. From the false grip, it is the best way to learn the muscle up. And the reason is when you have a false grip, your wrist is actually above the, where you're grabbing the rings. So your wrist is above the rings, which means when you pull up, okay, so when I pull up and I do that Superman, when I pull up, I'm already in a position where my wrist is above the rings and then I can finish the dip. So there is no need for re-gripping or sliding on the rings or anything like that. When you have the false grip, all you need is a very strong pull, a quick transition, and a good dip. That's all you need. You don't need to mess with readjusting your grip. A lot of people have a tendency to grab the false grip and they get it, and then they just slowly slip out of it by the time they actually do their ring pull up, and then they'll pull to here and they, and they can't figure out why they can't get the muscle up. So remember, chalk up. Dig in that false grip. It's not going to feel good, especially if you have never practiced it before. But the more you can keep the false grip, the more that, that ring can sit in the crease of your wrist, the better chance you have of getting your first muscle up. Now let's move on to the hybrid grip. So this is a mix between the standard and the false grip. So instead of having the ring sit in the crease of my wrist, I'm actually letting the ring slide down into what I would say the middle of my palm. So you can see my, my wrists are still flexed. I'm still grabbing on with my knuckles above the rings, but my wrist is probably at or just below ring level. Basically what you're doing is you're giving yourself a slight advantage when it comes to that pull so that all you have to do to finish the muscle up is slightly allow your, your wrist to slide around the rings and then you can finish the dip. Okay, so you do have to let your wrist and your hands slide around and over the rings to finish the muscle up. That's why I don't recommend it for people who are just learning the muscle up because we want to learn the strict muscle up first. So in order for the hybrid grip to work, you either have to be freakishly strong or like most of us, we're gonna have to have a little bit of a kip to allow those hands to slide around and release to catch in that dip position. Because again, the wrist must be above the rings in order to get the muscle up. Now, the last grip that we have is what I call the normal grip or the standard grip. And that's where we're just grabbing the rings. Uh, our wrists are relaxed. I'm grabbing the rings. Usually the ring, instead of sitting in the middle of my palm, instead of like being here, it's gonna be here on my finger. So I'm grabbing it with my fingertips or, or maybe just the very, very top of my palm by my knuckles and I'm not worrying about flexing my wrist, I'm just keeping a nice relaxed grip. So this is great, it doesn't tax your grip nearly as much, but as you'll notice, the wrist, the knuckles, everything are below the rings. The only thing above the rings are your fingertips. So how the heck are you gonna get above? You have to allow those hands to slide around the rings. So I'm literally, I'm loosening my grip as I pull, I'm letting my hands slide around the rings into the dip position, and then I can finish. So it's much more technical because you have to time that release. You have to allow yourself, you have to have the confidence to let that grip relax and slide around the rings into the dip position, which is no easy task. And it 100% requires a kip. 
So in order for the standard grip to happen or the normal grip to happen, you must be able to kip pretty efficiently. So if we look at this progression, the strict muscle up requires a false grip and it's great and this is what you should first learn with. There are some people who can kip with a false grip, more power to them, it just is really hard and it's really taxing on your forearms and your wrists and you're, and you're probably gonna tear. Next, you have the hybrid grip. A lot of people stay here all their lives and that's perfectly fine, uh, but they might have a tendency to rip their palms during the muscle up and their grip is also gonna fatigue because when I'm in this flex position, my, my forearms are gonna get pretty tired. And then some of the more elite athletes you'll see, almost all of them will have what I call a standard grip or a normal grip where they're relaxing. Every time they come down and they're just holding onto the rings, they're just holding it with a neutral, whatever, normal grip. And then because of their hip hop and their aggressive turnover, they're all able to get those wrists, to get their body above the rings by releasing the grip and sliding above. So I hope that this video helps you understand the difference between the three different grips of the muscle ups. If you want to learn how to do your first muscle up or go from two to, to five in a row, make sure you go to getmuscleups.com and I'm gonna send you a bunch of free training about ring muscle ups. Also subscribe to the Wad Prep YouTube channel. There's also a link down below here. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. Leave a comment and let me know if this brought you any clarity or if you have suggestions on what videos I should make next. And I will talk to you next week.